Hello, welcome again to this new video. We have introduced Qt plot before. If not familiar, please watch our previous videos. Today we are going to talk about Boltzmann fits. This can be used in different scenarios. Examples, bacteria growth, proton monomers aggregating. These all have an initial lag phase, an exponential growth phase, and a plateau phase. So we are going to see how we could use Qt plot to generate uh, growth plots. Let's get started. Here's Qt plot. I've thrown in some data in there, time and OD. Imagine the OD optical density converted to percentage. We highlight the data and then we go plot, scatter, and we're going to have this plot showing on the y-axis the ODIN percentage. To fit, we go to Analyze, Fit Boltzmann, and we select the curve we want to fit. And we're going to have our fit coming up there. So we could go again to anal Analyze, Fit Boltzmann, select the second curve, and we are going to have this fit along the points. So now we may want to double click on the on the y axis and then uh, adjust the uh, minor and the major ticks. So we, we select the next one, which is the X adjust the minor and major ticks. Now on the right axis, we may want to make it have no tick. So we put minor and major ticks at zero altogether and select apply. Same like with the uh, upper axis, the top axis, we put zero there for both minor and major and select apply. So we now have our fit sitting in that box. We select OK. And the legend, as you noticed before, could be moved within the graph. And we can double click on the Y axis and uh, write in whatever we want to write there. So imagine optical density in percentage. Let's say it's a percentage of a certain maximum. We write that, double click on the X axis and then write time. Let's say it's in minutes. And we can change the title, write whatever title we want to write there. Let's say bacteria growth or uh, protein aggregation growth or whatever. And uh, we now have all of those. If we go to File, Export Graph, Current Graph, we then could export it as a PDF, change the name, so I've just chosen a simple name there, Growth uh, sorry, graph bacteria growth, and we change the type of plot from BMP to EMF or to PDF. Remember our videos about the different kind of files that can be used. We choose here preferably a vector file and PDF is one of them or EMF. So here we choose PDF and then uh, we save it uh, to our destination of preference. So go save. And uh, that is it. We have our plot. Thank you for listening and send us suggestions for different videos. Wish you all the best. Goodbye.